Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're coming at you from a different location from the set of the Matt Squared podcast. Um, but it's just going to be a quick one today. I wanted to get some of my thoughts out about the uh, the Celtics and the Nets seasons coming up and what, what's been going on this offseason with them also. So uh, to start off, with the Kevin Durant trade rumors that are going, Kevin Durant trade rumors that are going on right now. Um, I personally, I don't think Kevin Durant's going to get traded during the off season. I think that's kind of sinking in as more of the general consensus also. But recently the rumors came out about Kevin Durant getting traded to the Celtics for Jalen Brown and uh, whatever else the package would include, maybe Marcus Smart or picks or whatever. Um, I think a lot of people are saying maybe including Marcus Smart would be too much, but I don't think I would trade Jalen Brown at all for Kevin Durant. And like I'm not, I'm not underselling how good Kevin Durant is. I know Kevin Durant is one of the top five, four, three players in the league, if not the best. But I don't know. Looking at what Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown have done together on the same team, it's just since they've been on the team together. They've gone to two Eastern Conference Finals, one Finals appearance, one second round loss, and one first round loss when Jalen Brown wasn't playing. I don't know about you, but that's a, that's a whole lot of success with a young core to me. So uh, relating this to Kevin Durant, maybe trading Jalen Brown, Brown for Kevin Durant could be their James Harden Thunder moment where they kind of blow up this young squad before they should have. Um, obviously, Kevin Durant would make him a, probably make him a Finals favorite in the East. Um, but they lose a lot of defensive presences with Marcus Smart, which they'd probably have to give up in the trade. Uh, and I just don't think that chemistry is something you want to mess up, just bringing in Kevin Durant. And, you know, you never know how injuries are going to go with him. He's been injured a lot recently in the past few years, and that's something you have to think about. So you might be risking a long, who knows how long the Celtics championship window is right now, five, eight years if they keep Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown together. If they get Kevin Durant, you know, that kind of straight, it might be a better chance. I'm, I'm not even sure it's a better chance, but that window will probably shrink down to maybe like three years. But, but yeah. So what I think the Nets are going to do is that they're going to roll into next season with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant still on the roster. And I don't think there's any problem with that because looking at their roster right now, they have a really good roster. Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, Ben Simmons, TJ Warren, um, who else do they bring in? Uh, there's some other guys I'm not thinking of. They still have Seth Curry, Joe Harris, all these guys. There's someone else they brought in that I can't think of. Uh, I could look it up, but I'm not going to. But, yeah, I think they should just roll into next season with the roster they have, see how it goes. Like, you know, if it's, you know, if it's, if it's dog shit, obviously, you know, you can trade Kevin Durant at the trade deadline or even earlier if you want to, if it's not going well. But I think you should go into next season at least and see what that team can do. Even even though there's been all these trade rumors, I think you just hold out a little bit and see what they can do. You know, once upon a time, Kobe Bryant asked for a trade from the Lakers. But, you know, obviously they didn't and everything worked out fine. But, yeah, for the Boston Celtics, I think they're, I think they're poised to make another run at the finals next year. Obviously, there's some big competitors uh, with uh, Philadelphia and Milwaukee primarily. I don't know if I believe in Miami. Like, obviously, I know Miami's good, and they could they could happen, but I don't know if I really believe in them like that. Uh, Brooklyn, if everything goes well, you know, you can't count them out, I guess, if they keep Kevin Durant and Kyrie along with Ben Simmons. You know, that's a scary team. If if they if they bring it all together, it could happen. But like, based on the last couple of years, I'm not counting on that. So I think the Celtics are poised to make another good run at it. Like I said earlier, they've had two two Eastern Conference Finals appearances, one Finals appearance, one second round exit, and one first round exit while Jalen Brown wasn't playing. Since Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown have been together, um, I think that's something you have to run back. I. I think there's not certainly, but there's a very good likelihood that there's a championship in this team's future, especially with the additions of Malcolm Brogdon, who's literally just probably like as solid a as solid a point guard as you can imagine having. Like uh, he can shoot threes. He he's one of the best finishers at the rim, which I was surprised to learn, but he is. Uh, 
I don't think he turns the ball over that much. He can pass. He can play some. He can play a little bit of defense. You know, he's just he's kind of just like the perfect point guard to have on your team. Maybe not. You probably don't want him to be your best player, but he's the perfect point guard to have on your team. Daniel Gallinari coming in. Uh, he's not the player he once was, but you know he should provide some shooting coming off the bench. Um, and who knows? Maybe every once in a while he'll have a big game. But obviously, I'm not expecting that much from Danilo. Uh, Robert Williams. Who knows how much he'll progress going into next year? He's a young, young talent with a lot of upside. Great defensively. Great lob threat. Um, but there's a lot to be excited about if you're a Celtics fan or if you're on the Celtics. So I don't think that's something you blow up to go get Kevin Durant. Maybe I'm stupid for thinking that, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't mess up that team's chemistry and risk the future that I think they have to go get Kevin Durant. I just wouldn't do that. But yeah, like I said, guys, I'm keeping it brief today. Uh, that's all I got for now. Um, I'll talk to you guys again later. Peace.